Hey, what's up gamers? Quick video on the patch 7.01 notes. I will not be spoiling anything of the new raid at all. I will not be going there. So don't worry, we will only be looking at monk changes mostly and all the other battle system changes very quickly with my opinion. So battle system changes, right? Every tank got more amnesty on their AoE and on their, I think, gap closers. I haven't leveled anything besides warrior. I still don't even know how this affects warrior, but more amnesty, I mean, that's always just good. Now monk, I'll be talking about after going over the other changes quickly. Samurai got some changes. Not sure how it affects it. I haven't leveled it, so I'm not going to talk about it. Viper got range increased. This is just a QOL. I think this is pretty good. Your max melee range during your burst got bigger. It's great. Um, but they didn't lose any positionals. I thought we were going to lose a positional or two on Viper because there were some complaints about it. But they decided against it, which I think is good. I think the job plays fine the way it is right now. It's very, very busy, but not super difficult. So, good QL change. Black Mage, Umbral Soul earlier, great for leveling. Red Mage, Manification, effect duration increased from 15 to 30 seconds is great for Red Mage. I like to see that Red Mage is getting some love here. This is awesome. Then Astrologian, light speed recast has been reduced from 90 to 60 seconds. This is amazing. This is genuinely an absolute banger change. I am super happy for Astral players. On top of that, Astral Umbral Draw reduced to 55 seconds. This is overall really, really good change. Like genuinely, Astro wins a lot here. I think this is going to make the class so much better to play. Like it's already feeling really good in my opinion, but this is going to be absolutely amazing. Now let's go over to the monk change a little bit. Um, these are mostly just potency changes. So this by itself wouldn't really change a lot how you play the class. Now there's one thing in here that's actually important, which is this part here. So Dragon Kick now stacks of Oppo Oppo Fury are now only granted while in Oppo Oppo form. This means Booty K rotation is dead. We're not going to spam Dragon Kick after every boot shine or leaping Oppo. Basically, so this is the first big, big, big change that Monk is receiving in this. This will change the rotation by itself already, but there's going to be more, so stay tuned. Otherwise, it's just potency changes to probably adjust to the rotation change that we will be talking about. So I'm not going to comment on all these potency changes. There's some that are interesting, like Tornado Kick has been buffed quite a lot. We also got more AoE damage, so now Monk is actually okay in dungeons, I hope. But let's talk about the big changes. So again, I'm going to avoid scrolling down too far here. This is what's important. The following adjustments have been made to Raptor's Fury and Curl's Fury. Maximum stacks of Raptor's Fury have been reduced from 2 to 1 and Curl's Fury from 3 to 2. So if you've been playing Mong, you know that currently we were doing a Leaping Oppo or Boot into Dragon Kick rotation. And then you would use Twin Snakes once and then Demolish and then you would get your fury aka your balls and you would then spend them now we will get less balls and have to reapply them more often which absolutely changes the way you play monk right now it's actually now getting more close to what it used to be because of if you don't know monk had a self buff and a dot which were gone now so this will actually change it more to what it used to be i actually made a small picture servers are still down so i cannot show it to you in game but here's a small picture of how the new or rather old monk rotation will actually play like let me actually make this a bit bigger uh, ba, 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 ba. is this well, why is why is windows so weird why is it so weird? i mean it is big enough i think okay so what we now are doing uh, i didn't make a picture of that but basically we'll do always like oppo into dragon kick and do our rotation. Now, this is lined up how you will be playing Monk now. So basically, you start off with Dragon Kick to get a Fury, or I'm just going to refer to them as Balls because it's funny and they're Balls. So Dragon Kick to give you a Ball, Twin Snakes to give you a Ball, and Demolish to give you two Balls. Then you spend those Balls with Leaping Oppo, aka Boot, with uh, Rising Raptor, and then what is the last one called? I'm just going to look that up quickly because I don't remember the name. Pouncing Curl. And then we're going to get, again, a ball for our Oppo form, a ball for our Twin Snakes, and then we spent the second ball with Pouncing Curl that we got from Demolish, and so on. 
I hope this makes a bit of sense, but basically the rotation is much more, again, how it was, I would say, because this is how it more felt like or played like. I didn't play Monk a lot before Dawn Trail, I'm gonna be real, I played it in Stormblood for a while, but that's it. But this is how you're gonna play the new Monk, um, and this is probably, a lot of people will like this. I personally think I don't mind it being changed this way. I personally think it, it still will feel like Monk. I also think that Burst Windows will remain very similar because um, you still get, you know, your orbs from Dragon Kick into Opus. So I assume that you still do DK Opus spam. Um, I mean, DK into, into Boot spam during your Burst Window. I don't think that has really changed. I think mostly it's the standard rotation that has changed a little bit, but nothing else. So that's what has happened to Monk. And, well, you can tell me, of course, how you feel about it. If you think this is a good change, is this is the bad change, do you prefer it? But for those of you also wondering, this will also, since it, it will also light up on your hotbar. So if you're now confused, just log in, press the button, you will see it light up because it will display you what to press depending on the balls you have, obviously. So it, it's not like you have to now do something outside of pressing what's lighting up how it used to be. Because right now you have to do this. You have to do it. The boot TK rotation. You have to press Dragon Kick. Even if it wasn't lighting up on your hotbar just because they made a mistake. They change it now. This should be the new standard rotation. This is not open or anything. This is just the filler rotation in between your burst windows. What it should look like from up to down, obviously. Right? So, yeah. I just wanted to say that. Um, I think it's good that they changed it now. I also am happy about more potency or AoE potency. Um, that, another interesting change, I don't really know, they changed Celestial Revolution to have 600 potency, so it's a bit more forgiving if you fail your perfect balance window, which is interesting, but overall, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about this quickly, um, let's see, damage-wise, I have no idea, obviously, I am not gonna add all these potencies, I'm sure some people will, I, f just a general look, I feel like it might stay very similar, very, very similar, maybe a slight buff, but overall, I don't think it should affect Monk's damage too much. So yeah, that would be it. That would be it for this video. I hope you guys, of course, you know, enjoyed it, the small overview of Monk changes. Um, and yeah, I wish you all a lot of fun in the new raids and with the, uh, again, new version of Monk. <laughs> That's just so funny how Monk keeps changing. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. All right, you guys have a good one.